Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash tales from tech support. In today's episode, the CEO of 3,500 employees just called. Zero is a number. Get the scripts before you fire your IT. You deleted all my files. Our new offices are ready to be set up. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. The CEO of 3,500 employees just called. This happened a while back, but it's still the best thing that ever happened to me at work. True story. So, I was hired by a big defense company, upgrade tanks, naval weapons, etc., with over 3,500 employees. You can imagine this was a very big company. We were in building 34, and if you needed to go somewhere quick you took a bike or an electric car. I usually did second-line support, but they had a couple of people call in sick and asked me to do first-line support. It was a Friday and not much was happening, besides the usual email problems and tech guys turning off Unix machines that needed a check disk command with admin rights. The phone rings. Yes hello, this the secretary of the CEO. We need you to come over now. We have a big problem. Me, what seems to be wrong? Her, Mr. CEO is trying to open a file in Word, but every time he does this, scrambled text is showing up. I think we are being hacked. This was a big issue, since a couple of weeks before this a group of activists broke into the company and climbed on top of our radar tower. Me, I'll take a look from here and take over your screen. Hang on. So I take over his screen this is what happens. File, open, jkahshfhjkhjhjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjj
Me, no, the third number is just zero, the fourth is three. Her, so, zero dot zero dot zero dot three? Me, no, one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot three. Her, but what about the zero? Me, what about it? Her, shouldn't it be a number? Me, zero is a number. Her, look this it too complex for me, can't we just use the cable it came with? Me in my head, why didn't you tell me you had a cable? You said you just had the printer and power cable. Me, yes. Get the scripts before you fire your IT. I was working for a large warehouse and customization company under contract through another company and recently they had been talking about cutting people and shifts to make up for the lack of sales during the summer and wanted us to show our worth. The IT manager asked me since I was the last hire to show my worth and why I should not be cut. 80% of what I had to do in the first three months I had gotten down to simple scripted fixes by talking to the software vendors and learning the fixes. Plus reduced turnaround time on broken RF guns by actually looking at how to repair them and which of the parts from the old guns being replaced were compatible with the new models. I presented all of this to him and the following week I was notified by my contract manager they were letting me go. Fine with that really as seasonal was coming up and the no drug test or background check hires were the worst each year. Two days later I get a call from the manager demanding the scripts I used. While at the job they never provided me with any tools and they told us to use our own if we needed it. I had never put the scripts on the server or on my work computer. I check my contracts for any clause for files or documents I create while on the job and then proceeded to tell him they were not worth me keeping my job, so I deleted them when requested to doormat my drive upon termination, but they could keep my screwdriver set in my drawer so they can have one in the office. For those who can't keep up. Scripts were made on my own time off the clock talking to software vendors cause they are closed during my night shift. Never left my USB drive. Was deleted per request for my drive being formatted on termination. I was a contractor and the scripts would belong to my contract company and not the company I was sent to if any and they already said they don't want them I am safe. They don't make money if I am not there. You deleted all my files. Hey everyone, thought I would share this tale from one of my IT buddies. He had this one woman that would always puts tickets in for the smallest things. But this one takes the cake. People. IT IT buddy. CW confused woman. IT saw a ticket had come in, and it was from CW. It said, you deleted all my files. I need them to do my job. IT called CW to see what was going on because we don't delete personal files off of people's computers unless there is a good reason for it, and we have the user's permission. So while he was on the phone, he remotes into her computer and noticed everything but the recycling bin was missing on her desktop. He noticed that there was files in the recycling bin, so he opened it, and all her files are there. IT, here are all your files, did you move them into here? CW, yes I did. I moved them in here to recycle them so they will be clean for me to work on them. IT, excuse me? CW, yes, I moved them to the recycling bin to make them new again so I can reuse the files. IT, this is the trash bin, you would move files here to delete them off of your computer. CW, IT is not a trash can, IT is a recycling bin. It says so right under the icon. So for the next half hour, my buddy had to teach her how to use the recycling bin. Our new offices are ready to be set up. Basically we're moving our users into a temp office while their main one is being renovated. We get the call that they have all their stuff in their new space ready to be hooked up so we tell them we'll be over there in a few minutes, the temp office is across the street from the main one. They say great, they're going to go to lunch while we take care of business, and be out of our way and also let us know they will be going out to a place that's about half an hour away. All good. My coworkers and I get over there and find their offices. They were set up and their desks all nice and how they wanted them. However, we were now seeing some problems. They had the movers put their giant filing cabinets not only in front of wall outlets, they had them put in front of wall ports. 
And when I mean giant, they were giant. A single one weighed a couple hundred easily when it was full, and they were all full. The truly frustrating thing about this is that we emailed every department that was being moved to make sure the movers didn't put their SH asterisk T in front of the drops or outlets. To make matters worse the only tech-related stuff they had over in their offices were their monitors and printers. We couldn't find their actual laptops nor their docking stations anywhere. We scoured each and every box and filing cabinet just to be sure. Finally we ended up calling them on their lunch, and they told us oh yeah, all of our laptops are in this car we drove to lunch in the town 30 minutes away, we'll just let you know when you get back. Okay great, what about all of your stuff blocking access to literally everything we need to get you guys connected? Oh sorry we didn't think that'd be much of a problem. Guess we'll call the movers to come back and rearrange too. So yeah their office won't be ready until Friday now since the movers are on schedule for the other departments and will be busy with those ones as well. Seriously how do you think you're ready for us to set you up if you take the things we need to set up with you? Baffles me that they managed to unplug all their stations too and not think that they need access to wall outlets and drops.